everything that happened with Serum definitely reinvigorated that discussion in the ecosystem. And like people started questioning, okay, I'm using this protocol. Who actually like has the upgrade authority to it? Like it became a thing people started to think about. So that's been super helpful for us because we provide not just a multi-sig setup that's secure and reliable to hold that upgrade authority, but also like the whole product flow that we worked out over the course of like a few months, which makes it very convenient for you to, you know, manage different programs because a lot of projects have more than one program, right? The recent Serum situation, which I guess the, the brief TLDR overview, as I understand it, is Serum was a program on Solana, very important program. It was the Audible Dex. It was initially made by some people from Alameda at some stage. And essentially the upgrade authority for that program, which is out there and doing its thing, it was just unknown who controls that in the wake of this FTX and Alameda sort of collapse. And with money flowing in and out of Alameda wallets and everyone think it's hacked in some way, there was quite a lot of you know people saying, well, does that mean the money that's in Serum is also at risk? So then there was this community effort to uh, fork Serum and a bunch of different projects have gone different ways on it. I think there's another fork called Open Book, which people have uh, adopted a little bit. People like Aldrin are doing their own as well. But it seems like you know this problem of the upgrade authority, it's kind of pretty entrenched with the entire ecosystem, right? Like pretty much every program, well, every program deployed on a blockchain somewhere needs to be done by some sort of address, some sort of wallet, some sort of source. So either that source is one entity, in which case, okay, well, that's the entity that you need to corrupt in some way, or it's done by something which is maybe representative by, you know, a lot of people that need a lot of signatures to be able to actually go and do something. So yeah, is that sort of, I guess, an emerging use case that you guys have seen? I don't know if you've been involved in uh, Serum, the post Serum stuff, but maybe upgrade authorities for contracts. That's probably an essential part for building any sort of Solana contract, I would say these days, is to look into some sort of multi-sig to be owning it. Everything that happened with Serum definitely reinvigorated that discussion in the ecosystem. And like people started questioning, okay, I'm using this protocol. Who actually like has the upgrade authority to it? Like it became a thing people started to think about. So that's been super helpful for us because we provide not just a multi-sig setup that's secure and reliable to hold that upgrade authority, but also like the whole product flow that we worked out over the course of like a few months, which makes it very convenient for you to, you know, manage different programs. Because a lot of projects have more than one program, right? Like they have seven or eight or six, whatever it is. And so we we also deliver a full on product experience in terms of how you can manage them. And then like every program can have like multiple upgrades. And so you can see the upgrade history and like the whole flow has been sort of perfected to make sure that there's no emissions, there are no mistakes and, and just making that easier for developers. So that's today like a killer use case for squads. Like majority of our users on the team level, that's what they use squads for because like with treasuries, they still have options, right? With the program, there is no option. Like you need to hold it on Solana, you need to hold it somewhere. And I think still today, there's a lot of programs that are still using, you know, a single key to manage an upgrade authority. And I, I do need to caveat that whole discussion by the fact that ideally we shouldn't really have any users of that kind because all programs should be immutable. You should burn the upgrade authority. Nobody should have it, right? But I think that's something that can happen down the line, you know, as a good intermediary step is to decentralize control over the program. Because if I have that word authority, I can control the whole program, right? Like if your program has 10 million TVL and I have that word authority in one upgrade, I can take control over the program and, you know, get the funds out and that's it, right? So it's a huge attack factor. So for squads, that's one of the main use cases. We have a lot of sort of larger projects that are leveraging infrastructure to, to manage either the whole program upgrade authority or program upgrade authority together with different like aspects of the protocol, like different admin keys or whatever. So that's definitely an emerging use case that we have spent the last few months specifically like onboarding a lot of teams on the basis of and it's been, you know, we got a lot of support from Salon and from other teams that, you know, had a really good experience with us kind of trying to make it apparent to the ecosystem that like this is a really convenient way to do it. So that, that's been a huge effort for us lately. Absolutely. And I think adding value by being able to, as you say, it's a consensus mechanism.